Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Planet Zoo. Welcome back to Cedar Creek, guys. And uh, so we are going to today work on a new lemur habitat because, you know, we've had issues with this one where the guests are coming in and the lemurs are not happy. They want some privacy and they're not getting it. And I want to expand and get bigger. But oh, wow, high amounts of litter. Yeah, now that we added more... Uh, stuff more food opportunities for them they're of course trashing everything but i do want to get more uh lemurs and different types in here so we're gonna do that i want the new world bin i think and we'll go ahead and put one over here just try to get a few more trash cans in so that we don't have this issue so much probably around the benches that i've put in already got one over there yeah i get plenty of trash and then hopefully we won't have as many complaints. All right, that should work for now. And let's hire another caretaker too, or whatever they're called. Let's see. We want, yeah, caretaker. We'll get two more just wandering around. Okay, so now lemurs. Part of that is going to be designing this into our primates area. And I don't want, I mean, I want a lot of other ones. I think the the lemurs are a primate? I guess I don't know for sure. What kind of thing are they? A lemur. It just says a lemur. I don't know that they're primates or not. Oh, I guess I could tell from their hand. Yeah, they have, they seem to have a opposable thumb. So we're going to count them as primates, even if we're not supposed to. I'm going to turn on the camera too. The camera light because I see that we're getting fog. Oh no, it's snow. Okay, so we also will need to watch to see if we have any complaints about stuff. But what I want to do is we're going to get a really big lemur facility. So this one here is currently 760, which is enough for a lot of lemurs. 40 there. Let's go ahead and if this is 40, that is a lot. And then the other one, let me find it really quick. Also, for the, um, now that we're doing members only, I'm going to do this more of like a laid back streaming type thing as opposed to like really trying to optimize things for YouTube and retention and stuff like that. Because I figure you guys like listening to me talk, like seeing what I do. So anyway, what I think I want to do is just double this and then we're not going to have the guests entering. So we're going to go ahead and right away, I'm going to take this out. Let's go to the paths and we're going to take out the guest path. And slowly you guys need to get out of here. Let's go ahead and speed up the game. And then we can come in and take these out. Get off the paths, please. Get out of the habitat. Thank you, guys. Way to go. You listened. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, and then we're going to pause. Uh, P, got to remember the right controls for this stuff. And we want to grab this, and I want it to just be wooden. Okay, we got to delete it. And then we'll put that as wooden logs. We got that one is gone. And same thing over here, delete, select that spot and make it wooden. Okay. And then we want to get rid of this education board. And this one. And then we've got a speaker here, I think. Nope, that's block of ice. Okay, that can stay. All right, so now they don't have a great view of the lemurs. So what I'm going to do instead is we are, oh, they are fighting for alpha status. Interesting. Well, where's the fight? Can we have them together? I don't know. Let's uh, slow this back down. And of course, I don't have, there we go. Rhinoceros, can you have two males in here? One male. You can only have one male. Manage. 
we have two males. Let's release the older one to the wild. 67 points for that. Woohoo. Okay. So then that will work. And actually, maybe we should get rid of both. And then we can bring in... Let's get rid of this old one too. Actually, here, let's go to animal trading. This is the black rhinoceros. We want... I want a young female. 13 years here. No, that is not what I want. 13.2 years. Good immunity, but not good fertility. Let's go with this one. Good fertility. Adopt. Send them to the quarantine. And we are going to come in here and get rid of the older one. Release you to the wild. 85 points for that, too. Okay, so then when that one is ready, we'll move them into the other stuff. But I want to bring this path. We're going to get a different spot. But what, I, what I'm thinking is that we essentially... Let's come in here, barriers. And I want to add here. And then we're going to come off of there and come this way. And what we're going to do is have a few different ways for the guests to be able to view. But this will come here and I think this is about where I want it to end. And then we're going to get a ton of lemurs in there. But this will come around this way and then back here. And actually, I no, we're going to come back. I want it to come along this way. Because what we're going to do is we are going to turn this path into a guest path that goes up and has a higher view. Which means we could actually take this one out and come across here. So now we're going to need to get that path in place. We're going to get another gate over here. And I'm going to bring a path over this way. Staff path here. And then a regular path from there. And then we're going to get a new work area back in here. Like a new staff area here. Okay, vet research is complete. And we probably have a mechanic research complete. Let's see, you got brown bear. Keep working on that. You got food shops. Let's switch you now over to restrooms or something like that. Toil uh, no, I t oh, souvenir shops. Sure. Let's get you on that. And then we're going to come here. You have cleared your quarantine, so we are going to move you to the rhinoceroses, which I got to make sure I get them in the right spot, this one. Okay. Now, back over here. So we want to have this be a staff area. We're going to get facilities, staff. We need a keeper hut. Let's go ahead and get a large one back here so we can get a couple different habitats in here. Put that here. And then we need a staff room. Put that right here, I think. Okay, and then we're going to connect this path into that. And then just pretty much fill that area in. We'll get a tree in there too, I think, real quick. So continent, North America, temperate, and we'll get a beech tree. Yeah, that'll be a good one in there. Nice big tree in that center spot provided them with shade if they want to sit down outside. Okay, so then we are going to pause the game because we're going to need to do some barrier work here. Okay, so this one is going to extend over here and join that. Then we're going to get rid of this. Okay, and then this all needs to be climb proof as well want all of that outside and I want 
climb proof on that side. Very good. So now they can't get out. We can get another window here, though. Okay, and then we're going to get a path up over the top. But first, we are going to create a new work area because this one is not part of anything yet. So we're going to get this, this, and this in here. And we are going to call this Reptiles. Then we need to get some staff. So we need a caretaker assigned to this one. And a couple of keepers. We'll get two in here. A mechanic, because we are going to get some power and water out this way. Might as well have security over here. And an educate. Well, I'm not ready for educators. But let's go ahead, unpause. And then all of you are going to be assigned to that work area. Reptiles. 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 How many times can I say reptiles over and over again? Reptiles. Okay. So they're all assigned. They have a way to get into this habitat. And we are going to, first of all, make sure that the lemurs are happy with it, which they are. They've got plenty of space. They have a little bit too much grass, but we'll keep it the way it is for now. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But I do want to bring some stairs over here. So what we're going to do, I think we have to go this way. And actually, I think what we'll do, we're going to come in here. We're going to get a viewing dome entrance here. And then we can get the viewing dome itself. We'll figure that out, actually, after we get some of this in here. Let's get the upstairs path first. So this is going to go this way. And go up. And then we need to go up again. And they're going to be up pretty high here. And they're going to go around and over. And then from over here, what I want to do is try to go this way and then go up here. And we're going to have to move this. Let's move it right over there. And then path. Okay, that can go away. Path will come this way and go up again. There we go. So they have a way of getting up and going into the habitat and having a look around. Have a little look-see here, guys. But first, in the middle here, what I want to do is I want to align to grid. And then we'll get a nice little lookout in here. Yeah, like that. That is going to be really nice. And then over here, we want this to be the lemurs. I don't know how it got switched off from their stuff. And then we're going to find other lemurs to add. Same thing, this education got turned off too. That's really weird. Okay, so lemurs and black lemur. Okay. So now they've got a way to get around up there. We'll figure out the next part in a second. Okay, and these ones are ready, the ringtails. Go ahead and get them moving over here to the lemurs. Are they ringtail? Yeah, I think so. And then these three will move in a little bit too. They'll be ready very soon. Okay, well, strangely, one of them seems to have disappeared. But let's go ahead and put these red ruffs over and see what happened. Did they end up in storage? No. I wonder what happened to them. But anyway, we can come in here. We just want to get the terrain right now. So I want to come in and we're going to look at the ringtailed. Let's see, this is a black and white ruffed. We only have two in there. Uh, 
man. We're going to need more. I want to see this one, though. Okay, you are actually in really good shape. Terrain is fine. Grass is too long, though. So let's get some soil in here. And what I think I'm going to do, and what I like to do, is really get the soil underneath where we have the, like, wood. Where, like, the, the barriers or paths. That's the word I'm looking for. Because the grass wouldn't grow there very well anyway. And then that allows us to really have better stuff outside of that. And then let's get short grass? No. Yeah. Get some short grass. Get rid of that long grass. Replace it with short. There we go. So terrain is really good now. They do have enough climbing already, but like I said, I think we'll get more. So I think I want to come in here and we're going to go to habitat and we want to get climbing stuff. Do we have anything already done? Yeah, here, monkey tower with African theme. Large animal? No, I want... Those are just basic stuff. Yeah, here. Oh, limer. Uh, a lemur climbing frame. Let's do this, and we'll put it right over here. Really basic stuff on this side. So, like, I don't want a ton of stuff for them to climb on, but I do want it to be relatively interesting so that there is at least a little bit of stuff for them to climb. Maybe even combine these a little bit. We could bring this up higher and have it like that. So now the lemurs can really, they should be able to climb around from one spot to another. But they do have some stuff there. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come into habitat. And what I want is somewhere in here, we've got the guest shelter. So th that is, oh no, that's in facilities, I think. Here it is, viewing dome, it is under habitat. So I wanna bring that right over in here. Ah, we can't get it in there. We can get it over here though. Let's go ahead and put it here then. So people can go in there and end up over here and see a lot of the inside of the habitat. And now we've got a lot going on here. Let's go ahead and get some more education boards. So we have two other types of lemurs in here now. We want to make sure we've got education for them. One here. And we're going to change that to red ruffed. We'll get a couple more for Red Ruffed in. Let's put one here. And one over here. And then let's get one here of the Ringtailed. And then we're going to copy over there and then we'll get another one up here. So now we've got all kinds of lemurs in here. And then, of course, get some more donation bins. Because now we've got more spots for the guests to be walking. We want to really encourage them to be giving us their money. There we go. Okay, so that gets them happier. People can get a really good view. Cleanliness is good. And hopefully the lemurs are happier. But let's go ahead and also really quick, I want to get some more nature. So we're going to go in. Actually, we'll click on one of them. Not, not the dome. There we go. We want environment, tropical, and Africa. Take away North America and temperate. And you know what? We could get a little bit of water over here. I don't know if they can swim or not, but we can go ahead and come in here, get heavy soil. We're going to push, but we've got water treatment, so we should be able to get a little bit of a nice uh, water 
hole over here. So now they have water available. And then we can, like I said, come into nature. And we could get like a, a palm tree over here, I guess. I, don't, I feel like palms are not quite right, but we'll get mangroves. Those feel a little bit more jungly, which I feel like the lemurs would be in the jungle. I don't know for sure. I haven't really read about them. I'm not an animal expert. I just like building things. And then get giant rhubarb. Where was that? Oh, yeah. I love rhubarb. So a giant rhubarb plant? Sounds like a great idea in there. And then over here we can get a... Uh, that might be too... Well, no, we've got one over there. Let's put it right in here. Yeah, we've got a couple of really tall trees in there. And get some ferns right around the base of it. In general, I mean, we've got plenty of space that we can just keep adding coverage. Let's put the tree like right in the middle of this. That way, by having the trees like this, we do make it possible that the lemur might be able to hide a little bit. And then they won't be quite as upset with the people being around. Sausage tree is going to give them a way out, probably. So we won't do that. But the mangrove apple we can put over here and get another one here. There we go. I feel like this is well decorated now. Look at how many guests are in there. All right, so that is improved. Let's come in here and get these mechanic researches out of the way. Vet research, get that out of the way. Guests think tickets are underpriced. I love seeing that message. Let's go ahead and raise it another $5. And we're going to go into our animals. So we want to clear the filter. Any animal. We want to check their welfare. So the ADAPS is unhappy. What are you unhappy about? It's trying to find a spot to hide. Also, no enrichment in here. Okay, so we're going to filter by ADAPS and get food enrichment. Food and water. Here, enrichment, food enrichment. Could do a scarecrow feeding. Let's do that there. And then we'll get a small barrel. Grazing ball feeder over here. Just kind of like adding different things. And a scarecrow feeder. Just really making it more fun for them to eat and stuff like that. And then we want to go back to animals and check. Is anybody else upset? The ring-tailed lemur. What are you upset about? Stress. All right, well, and too few adults. Well, because one, no, that's not them. How many do they really want? Did I misread that? Well, here, of uh, Zoopedia. Yeah, you want three. Let's get you another female then. We can't, there aren't any other females. So we're not gonna be able to do anything about that. Not anytime soon, at least. A lot of people in here are not that happy. Not a ton, that, oh here, you finally showed up. Move you to the lemurs. Yeah, they are lots of guests in there. So that might help a little bit. And then we've got a new challenge in here. Remove the protesters. Yeah, that, good luck with that. They just keep coming. Visiting players already said hello to. This is, uh, again, they're saying too cheap. Let's go all the way up to 40 then. And in general, I think we're in a good, good spot. So we're going to stop here for today. I hope you liked the video. I hope you are happy with the members only. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Take care.